6.53, time for the morning sprint. The Madison High School student arrested last week for bringing a loaded, stolen gun to school is now officially charged. 18-year-old Marquan Webb faces one count of possession of a firearm on school grounds. Police arrested Webb Thursday after school administrators got an anonymous tip that he was armed. According to the criminal complaint, when officers arrived, at least two school staff members were in contact with Webb, trying to stop him from running away from the school. So far this year, over 300 catalytic converters have been snatched up in Madison. A catalytic converter is a device that takes toxic gas from a car's engine and makes it safer. They're made of extremely valuable metals. Madison police say they're stepping up their patrol tactic now to catch the thieves. More on the problem is up right now at channel3000.com. This morning, only a handful of tents remain pitched at Rindall Park in Madison. The city has ended use of the park as a homeless encampment. Officials say anyone who'd been staying at the park has been offered alternative housing options. Those include some shelters on Dairy Drive or a hotel room paid for by the city. 27 people moved to those shelters. 34 are staying in the hotel. COVID infections once again surging in the U.S. New cases are topping 100,000 per day and 1,100 Americans are dying every day. The new Omicron variant also spreading. It's now in 18 states, including Wisconsin. New York City will be the first city in the country to force private businesses to require their employees get vaccinated starting on December 27th. President Biden is scheduled to hold a video call with Russian President Vladimir Putin later today. This is tensions rise about a possible invasion of Ukraine. A U.S. intelligence report shows tens of thousands of Russian troops are meeting at the border right now. The leaders have not spoken since July. Three more Christian missionaries have been released from captivity in Haiti. They had been held hostage by a violent gang for seven weeks. In a statement, Christian Aid Ministries said that they are safe and seem to be in good spirits, but provided no additional information. Two others were released last month, leaving 12 still captive. Ford Motor Company is delaying its plans to have roughly 30,000 workers return to the office next year. The automaker says those employees will not return now until March due to COVID-19 concerns. Ford's office workers were originally set to head back next month. Former U.S. Senate Majority Leader and 1996 Republican presidential nominee Bob Dole will lie in state in the U.S. Capitol Rotunda Thursday. Dole died Sunday at the age of 98. In February, he had announced he was being treated for advanced lung cancer. Zoomed in on Dane County initially. We're dry, but you already start to see what's trying to creep in from the north and west. We're going to be watching at least a chance to see some light snow showers and flurries out there today, but it has dry air to battle. Until we overcome the dry air, it's just going to be cloudy. Eight degrees right now. Wind chill is at zero. So yes, it is cold as you head out and about, but as we start to look ahead, 15 by 10 o'clock, 16 by lunch, and that's when I expect at least some of these flakes to begin to make it towards the ground. Temperatures today only top out, my friends, at 20 degrees. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. Have a great Tuesday, folks.